Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Chocolate Torpedo with my first official video. I have my first official DVD update slash uh, DVD collection video. This will probably be in uh, two parts. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, my first DVD is Airplane, Don't Call Me Shirley Edition. Uh, just a standard one. Uh, next one is American Gangster. Just a regular two disc extended cut. And next up we have Anchorman. I actually didn't like this movie at first, but uh, after watching it two or three times, it gets funnier. It seems to get funnier every time. That's weird. But yeah, Anchorman, actually a good movie. Probably the best that Will Ferrell's done, in my opinion. Uh, Next we got Back to the Future Trilogy, classic. Uh, the Big Lebowski, very funny uh, Coen Brothers movie. Uh, next, Big Trouble in Little China. The Birds, Alfred Hitchcock. Blow. And then here we have Blue Velvet. This is a David Lynch movie. And yeah, it's pretty bizarre. It's like a mystery. Uh, this guy finds a severed ear in a field and he takes it to the uh, sheriff or the police department uh, it actually leads him to go and find this singer uh, to find out what's going on and uh, it's it's uh, it's kinda hard to describe what goes on especially towards the end of the movie uh, you just have to watch it. This is a David Lynch film and David Lynch is definitely on some other shit. And but he's a genius nonetheless. Blue Velvet, great movie. And next we got Boogie Nights. I'm sure everybody knows about that. Uh Brazil. This is a Terry Gilliam film. Terry Gilliam uh, did The Fisher King uh, and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. This is a good movie. It's kind of like a sci-fi slash uh, fantasy type movie. Uh, very weird. I love weird movies. Terry Gilliam is a genius too, by the way. Uh, next one we got Buffalo 66. And this is a movie that's directed by the guy on the right, uh, Vincent Gallo, Gallo, Gallo. Uh, also starring Christina Ricci. She's a good actress, actually. I'm discovering. Uh, yeah, this is a good film. I saw this on uh, HBO a few years ago, and I always wondered what it was. I actually was actually able to find out. I'm glad I picked it up. Got it for pretty cheap. Next we have Carrie, Brian De Palma's Carrie, good movie, one of the better horror flicks ever made, actually. Uh, next we got The Chung King Express, a uh, good foreign film, kind of like a love story, uh, and it kind of ha it has uh, a bunch of stories uh, intertwined together, kind of like how Pulp Fiction did and some other movies. Uh, but yeah, good film, Chung King Express. Or like Crash, too, how all the stories kind of, you know, connected at the end. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's not anything like those movies as far as like the, you know, the subject matter, but just the style of it. Uh, some aspects of it. Next, we got City of God. This is a good movie. Good form film. And this classic we have right here Stanley Kubrick's Clockwork Orange Kubrick yet another genius and I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that Clockwork Orange is essential viewing for all human beings that's all next show down we got Dawn of the Dead the original uh, this is the bulky uh, three disc special edition set. It's got the European cut, I think. The theatrical cut 
as well as the extended cut. I think I like the extended cut the best. But yeah, this is a this is an essential zombie movie right here. Classic. Uh next we got Dead Presidents, good action slash drama, starring Lorenz Tate and uh Chris Tucker. Yeah. Good movie, great soundtrack. Next up we got Death Proof, half of the grindhouse. I just wanna say <laughs> I really don't understand why they didn't release this with Planet Terror in kinda like a set with all the fake previews in between because that's what pretty much made the movie going experience the experience that it was uh, I guess it didn't really work out that well in the theaters when they were showing them in the theaters it wasn't that successful but <laughs> tell you what man the <laughs> some of those fake previews the one that was called I think it was Thanksgiving that shit had me dying and don't yeah the <laughs> They need to release those uh, those fake previews if they ever come out with a double disc edition with the movies together. But anyway, yeah, that's Death Proof. Good film. And this is, uh, the next movie is Deep Red. A Dario Argento movie. Uh, it's just the bare bones. I got it for cheap at uh, FYE. Good flick. Not as good as another flick I'm going to show you uh, later. Uh, let's see. Eddie Murphy Delirious good uh, stand up one of the better stand ups I've ever seen uh, I can't really decide whether I like this better or Raw Eddie Murphy Raw I mean they're both good but and then next see we got The Departed and uh, this is a very good Scorsese movie uh, not his best I had some idiot try and tell me that uh, the Departed was better than Goodfellas. I mean, get the fuck out of here. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is a great movie, but it's no Goodfellas. That's The Departed. And next we got Dodgeball. Funny-ass movie. Uh, let's see. Eastern Promises. This is a... David Cronenberg movie. Uh, he did The Fly and, you know, Naked Lunch. Yeah, this is kind of... Uh, a little bit different type of film for him to do uh, like uh, how a history of violence was was different uh, yeah good thriller next up we got enter the dragon no need to explain that one and then here we have Eraserhead which is I think is David Lynch's first film and it was actually, from what I read, uh, it was a response or, or a reaction to the birth of his first child. <laughs> yeah. Very bizarre. And he is definitely on some other shit. But he is a genius, once again. Next up. We got Eternal Sunshine for the Spotless Mind. Uh, and that was directed by the same guy that did, uh, that also did uh, Be, Be Kind Rewind. This is a good movie as well. And then we have Evil Dead 2, Fargo, uh, another Coen Brothers movie. Good movie. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, classic 80s film. Uh, Fight Club, just the bare bones edition. And Forbidden Zone. Now this is a cult classic. <laughs> Very strange movie. Very strange. Yeah, don't even want to begin to attempt to de try and uh, describe this one. But if you can find it, highly recommend you pick it up. The Forbidden Zone. And I'll go ahead and cut cut this video off and uh, I guess leave it at that for part one.